All right, well, we have been watching our winter storm, which has been moving through the state. Here's a look at Durango Mountain Resort. They have a webcam that's actually set up on a ruler to just track how much snow they've gotten up there. And judging by the looks of this, it looks like they got anywhere between six and seven inches of snowfall from the storm up at Durango Mountain Resort. Certainly some nice stuff to see over the resorts. Angel Fire, meanwhile, has a nice blanket of snow in their neck of the woods as well. And the skies are starting to break up a little bit, at least the cloud cover is. And we are going to see a little bit more peaks of sunshine throughout the afternoon. But the back end of the storm system still has to clear the state. And that's going to lead to just a few more scattered snow showers, especially for the higher terrain. Meanwhile, in the metro, no snow here, but we are looking at quite a bit of cloud cover and still some breezy conditions from time to time. 54 degrees the current temperature with a variable wind currently at 5 miles per hour. Colder air filtering into the state with the storm system. You can see where the cold air is starting to move through in the northwest corner of the state. We're already seeing temperatures into the 40s, 48 for Los Alamos, 46 in Farmington. Durango only sitting at 39 degrees right now. Albuquerque currently sitting right on that edge, so we are going to see those temperatures come down over the next few hours. Out ahead of the front, we are looking at temperatures still in the 70s, 78 degrees for Roswell, 70 in Alamogordo, and 67 currently in Deming. We are looking at those windy conditions now starting to make their way to the eastern part of the state as the storm continues to progress. 39 mile per hour wind gusts for Ruidoso, 33 for Tucumcari, 20 now in Grants and 25 in Gallup. So the western portion of the state, which has seen the gusty winds over the past couple of days, those winds starting to come down a little bit in the east, going to be dealing with some of those higher winds throughout the afternoon. And as that back end of that storm system starts to make progress across the state, you will notice that some showers are starting to fire, especially over the Gila and extending into the northwestern corner of the state, starting to see a little bit of snow redevelop just north of Durango and the San Juans of Colorado. And we'll continue to watch some scattered to spotty uh, shower activity throughout the afternoon and into the, at least into the early parts of the overnight hours tonight. But this storm system is going to start to pick up some speed as it moves north of the state. We will continue to usher in that colder air, but it picks up speed rather quickly. And by tomorrow afternoon, our storm system makes its way to the Midwest. We continue to filter in the cooler air and we stay cool through the rest of the week, but we will see more sunshine and less wind on the way. And super storm tracks showing those rain chances mainly across the northern portion of the state. We'll continue to see some on and off snow showers across the northern mountains through at least this evening and then they'll start to quiet down overnight and it looks like the next couple of days looking very nice but it will be on the cooler side. Southern Colorado temperatures into the 40s for this afternoon. Mostly cloudy skies will continue to see scattered mix through at least the evening and into the overnight. Then things clear out quickly for Thursday and Friday. Temperatures rebounding just a little bit back into the 50s. Over the northwest, scattered mix around for the afternoon. Much cooler as well. Temperatures only making it to the 40s this afternoon. And then we start to slowly warm back up into the upcoming weekend, back to 61 degrees by Saturday. Over the southwest, partly cloudy skies, temperatures into the 60s and 70s, but temperatures do cool down. More sunshine on the way, but only 59 by Friday. Over the southeast, spot storms will be possible once again this afternoon, but we clear out into the next couple of days as temperatures come down right around to 70 degrees by Friday. Over the northeast, spot showers possible as the back end of that storm system rolls through, but we clear out quickly for Thursday and Friday. Temperatures staying on the cool side, low to mid-50s for the rest of the work week. Over the northern mountains, we'll continue with that chance that a few snow showers throughout the afternoon into the evening and overnight as well but back to mostly sunny skies for Thursday and Friday temperatures staying in the low 50s back to the mid 50s over the weekend in Santa Fe over the East Mountains temperatures into the low to mid 50s with an isolated shower possible in the metro we could even pick up a spot showers that back into the storm system rolls through during the afternoon hours but things will clear out into the rest of the work week and upcoming weekend after a cool finish to the work week we're back into at least the low to mid 60s over the weekend so looking better once we get past the day okay Thanks, John.